uh, Dr. Sandy from Bedford Car Patch Clinic with a, another little tip for you, a little, little gem actually. Um, it's the first time I've actually used this analogy and um, Nigel was so impressed with it that uh, we thought what we would do is, uh, is we would actually share it with you. Uh, because I think it's sort of, uh, for me, uh, being very visual, it, it really just sort of explains something. And, and you said, Nigel, that it, was, that it sort of... Uh, it didn't explain it very well. It was useful yeah. to you as well. Okay, yeah. great. So um, Nigel was just describing to me that uh, he had uh, an, a knee operation done uh, or a knee procedure done, uh, which was called an arthroscopy, where what they do is they go in um, and they basically just give the knee a little bit of a flush uh, and clean it out uh, and just make sure that uh, any damage in there has been sort of cleaned and repaired. And they do that sort of uh, using sort of, uh, they don't open up the knee, they, they sort of uh, do it sort of uh, using sort of a procedure where uh, there's only very little small holes made into the knee. And as you said, Nigel, it felt really good, right, for how long? For three or four months. Three or four months. Very good, yeah. Yeah, very good. And then what happened? It's back to where it was previous. It's it back to where it was previous. Yeah, yeah. Seize up again. And um, that just made me think uh, that unfortunately, you know, over the 25 years that I've been treating patients, so tens of thousands of them, uh, I've heard this so many times. It felt great for three months, six months, a year, two years, uh, but then it just came back. Uh, the medical procedure was great to start with, but then it didn't actually sort of fix the problem long term. Short term, great. Long term, not so good. Now, why is that? Okay, well, over the 25 years, what I've realized is that what they're doing is they're literally dealing with the symptomatology. So they're dreaming with yeah. the symptoms. So it's a bit like an example that I used, which I'll share with you, was the idea of sort of a, a nut and bolt that's gone rusty. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if a nut and bolt is rusty, it's going to be very difficult to move it. Okay. But if we put some WD-40 or put some grease or oil on it, right, it will loosen up and it will sort of make it a little bit easier yeah. to operate. But if there's a little drip of water that is going or falling onto that nut and bolt and that originally caused the rust problem yes. okay and that is still left dripping onto the nut and bolt right now it's going to feel quite loose for a little period of time isn't it yes but the underlying cause of the problem which in this example is the little drip of water hasn't been resolved has it no, no. right so obviously over months years the nut and bolt's going to go rusty again, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. And of course, with any surgical operation, any, any sort of medical procedure, uh, especially any kind of surgical intervention, you don't want to do it too many times. No. And in fact, they wisely said to you that they weren't going to do it again. Mm -hmm. Because each time they enter the body, which isn't designed to be entered by any kind of surgical apparatus, uh, it's going to cause more trauma to the body, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah? So, surely, in my mind, Right? It would make more sense to deal with the drip, wouldn't it? Yes. Because yeah. by dealing with the drip, and then obviously putting a little bit of WD-40 in human case, right? exercise, right? the right nutrition, the right kind of movement, right? you would then get that joint to move better, wouldn't you? Yes. But you've dealt with the underlying cause of the problem. And that is what my whole mission is. That's what's driven me for the last 25 years, is to basically sort of make sure that we're dealing with the cause of the problem and not just treating the symptoms. So that's a beautiful background music which is leading to the end of this little short video. So uh, thank you for that, to whoever that was. Uh, so that's the end of this little tip of the day. I just thought I would share that with you because no. Nigel found that useful and uh, it was the first time I've ever used that example and I just thought it would be nice just to uh, share it with you. So um, the point I'm trying to make is, is let's deal with the cause of the problem and that is what in this clinic, that's our whole ethos, our whole philosophy and that's what we're here to do. Help you solve the problem by dealing with the cause and that's what we're here for. So if you want that, 
then Bedford Chiropractic Clinic is the place to be. And I look forward to seeing you. Nigel, thank you so much for allowing me to share that uh, oh, with, thank you. with everyone. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very yes. much. Bye. Bye-bye.